tune. One. John Goldston has two leading fences in this year's Derby of Boston Bay, with Don Corn and also Jack Cox. What are your thoughts going into it? Well, both horses are on great force. It's the Dante. I've been happy with them both. Um, I think Golden Horn showed he was, you know, it's like fully organised in every sense, travelled well to pace, finished well. So I couldn't be more pleased with him. His work's been great since. And similarly, Jack Hobbs, uh, you know, he was green and rather the unfinished article, if you like, in the Dante. But he's come on since then. I was pleased with him at uh, Epsom when we went to breakfast with the stars. Uh, last Tuesday and again he worked well on the water gallop this weekend and really is coming to himself. I think there's no doubt that come the autumn there won't be much between them but at this time of year the other horse is probably a little more worldly. And he's come a pretty unconventional route to borrow Wolverhampton Maiden in December and then a handicap. <laughs> yeah he would have run in the autumn but I had a niggle with him and uh, so I just had to miss some time. Similarly, actually, the same thing happened to Golden Horn. He had to run a little earlier. They were ready to really to run in early September, and then I was unable to run them. I worked them together and went far too fast. So, and Who won uh, the gallop? it was irrelevant. They made, I was not happy. It was the date of August 23rd. It's, it's etched in my mind. I wasn't happy with the work. At the same time, they worked together. And uh, so I had to wait, and they both got their runs in. I was desperate to run in before the end of the year so I could give them a holiday. Um, Jack Hobbs, he won the you know, day after Boxing Day, 27th December, and the other horse won you know, late October. But they got their races in, and they've come through the, and trained well through the spring. And so I would have to say I prefer to go to the Derby with four races under their belt, two at two and two at three, but I'm going with three races. And in your heart of hearts, how do you think they'll fare? Well, I think if the ground is good ground, let's just assume good ground, yeah. I think they both run well. It is the derby. You need a clear run or not too much trouble, which is the way you look at it. Mm. I think if it's a nice even pace, I would see Golden Horn as the horse with, with superb finishing speed at this stage. There is a question mark on his pedigree over the trip, but he's not going to be ridden to attack them at four furlongs to run. The other horse, on the other hand, you could sit a little closer and go a little sooner. And if he gets a big horse, he'd need a clear run. He wouldn't want to get in the rut, you know, getting jostled around because he'd take a little organising, particularly down the hill. He came down the hill very well. Jack Hobbs on his own the other day with the lead horse, but that's a bit, bit different to coming down with 14 or 16 others. But I think they're, they're ready to run nice races as long as the ground's good and I'm happy with their preparation through the spring. You know, it's, it's, if you have a... You have to have to hit the pause button for some reason. You know yourself, it's quite tough to get them back where you want them. Not only have you got two in the Derby, but two in the Oaks as well. Frankie's riding Jazzy Top, not Star of Seville. Has he made the right choice? He found it a difficult choice to make. I think both fillies are really won their trials well. They're both tough, they're genuine, they'll give you 100%. Um, but neither of them, in truth, has a pedigree that says a mile and a half. The pedigree clearly says a mile and a quarter. Mm. So who knows if one of them will stay. Maybe they're both not going to quite see the trip back, in which case we just revert to mile and quarter. But you can't rehearse a mile and a half race at home. So we go to the Oaks, eyes wide open, but they're in great form. And wouldn't be surprised to see them run closer in the places, but something that really stays with a turn of foot. Rather like uh, Michael Stout's filly. I just, I was immensely impressed with her trial. She looks like the type to go and win an Oaks by three or four. I might be talking nonsense, but I really like the way she trialed. An apt that you're wearing, a Tegruda jacket, yeah. fresh from success in the race last year. Yeah, she was exceptional filly and a uh, pleasure to train. She went there off only two runs, but she was just uh, high cruising speed, top class and just way better than the rest. It does help being better than the rest. It certainly does. What a weekend in store. Okay, that's